Certified most accurate. Now, your first Warren 5 forecast with Mid Michigan's only live radar. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman. All right, good Wednesday evening, everybody. Quite a bit of information coming into the uh, First Warren 5 Weather Center here over the better part of the last half hour. A slew of severe thunderstorm warnings. So let's dive right in here tonight. We'll put it up here on the screen for you. Uh, we actually have a combination of severe thunderstorm warnings going on right now. The northeast corner of Gratia County that you see there for the storms that are now beginning to depart the Alma area. That'll be in effect until 730, right around the times when those storms will be clearing out. But we do have the ongoing severe thunderstorm warning that remains in effect for parts of Saginaw, really the majority of northern Saginaw County, as well as extreme southern Bay County, including Bay City and the far southeast corner of Midland County. That's going to be in effect all the way out until 8.15 p.m. These storms have had a history of producing winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Also the potential there for a torrential rain, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning moving in with these storms. Midland looks like you're going to duck just uh, north of the worst part of this storm, but one thing that has me a bit concerned, and I'm going to keep a very close eye on here, we switch the radar over to what we call storm relative velocity mode and just to give you the brief rundown here anywhere you see these green shades that indicates winds that are generally blowing toward the radar with red indicating winds that are blowing away from the radar site and in this case we're using the Grand Rapids radar site so these winds moving generally in a uh, westbound direction while the winds propagating out with that bulging line of the storm here moving out ahead of it and it's where you see these areas where you could at least look for some general rotation now nothing has coiled up to the point where I think anything is going to actually be developed in terms of any kind of tornado activity, but just the fact that we're even seeing a little bit of broad rotation north and east of Wheeler and cutting into far southern Midland County will certainly bear watching as that line of severe thunderstorms continues on through southern Midland County and on toward the Bay City and Saginaw areas over the course of the next 45 minutes or so. Also along that same line, some intense rain but non-severe thunderstorm activity working its way in across uh, US 10. In fact, moving into the city of Midland as we speak, trailing westbound to Mount Pleasant, northbound through Clare, Gladwin as well, and West Branch. You're in line for another batch of heavy downpours, as are all of you folks on the east end of M55, Alger, Standish, Sterling, and even into the uh, Skoda area. Actually, a new cell there, too, as we zoom out a bit more, flaring up in western Huron County. That's going to cut through Bad Axe over the next half hour or so. And while it's been quiet so far along I-69, stay alert. You will also be seeing some shower and storm activity in the next one to two hours. Let's take a live look outside this evening. We'll head over to downtown Saginaw. There you have it, those darkening skies with the severe thunderstorms to the west of town and plenty of fuel in the air for these storms to utilize. Still 84 degrees in downtown with a heat index of 86, despite the fact that the sun is now behind the clouds and a west wind coming in at about seven miles per hour. Here's how the temps shake up for the rest of us. And if there's one bit of good news, it's that that relief we've been talking about all week is finally beginning to creep in. The cold front now positioned just to the north and uh, west of Midland has already brought the temperatures down to 67 degrees and 69 degrees in Houghton Lake and West Branch, but out ahead of it. This is why you're not out of the woods in terms of storm activity just yet. We're still talking about temperatures alone in the middle to upper 80s, but of course where that cooler air has swept in, it's already knocked things down as much as 11 to 16 degrees compared to yesterday. Cooler than yesterday. All right, cold front continues on out of the region tonight, allowing a much cooler and more refreshing air mass to filter in. But as we take a look at the first one, five hour by hour forecast, for as strong as those storms are going through the Tri-Cities area right now, a lot of the activity breaks up by the time we hit 9 o'clock. I do expect you'll still see some storm activity into the thumb and along I-69 before things settle down around 11 p.m. and then one last push of rain comes in closer to the 3 and 4 a.m. time frame. But bottom line is we wake up much cooler tomorrow morning even with the showers and storms. Low of 60 tonight headed only to 72 for tomorrow as we get rid of the rain. Cooler and much less humid. And in the first warm five seven day forecast we go to 71 degrees on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds Meg and these 70s not looking to depart us anytime soon. Okay so just this one last hiccup. Yep, that's all we got to get through. And of course, keep an eye on those storms as they're barreling in toward the Tri-Cities as we speak. Okay, thank you, Brian.